So you guys can see there's this article right here from 24-7 Wall Street. And it's telling us that the CEO has dumped or sold 20 million shares of Ginkgo Biowork. Now, that will have impact on the stock's price. No doubt about it. 20 million shares. The problem is we don't know when he sold them. Right. But we can learn a lot, as this article writes, a lot by observing how corporate insiders handle positions in their own companies. There are many reasons insiders may sell shares such as buying a house, paying for college or estate planning, yet they generally buy shares for only one reason. They believe they will make more money. Okay. Often, one of the largest and best informed shareholders in any company is the chief executive officer. Let's see whether Ginkgo Bioworks holding CEO Jason Kelly has been increasing or decreasing his share count over the past year and whether he knows something that we don't. Hmm. Let's go a little bit further. One year ago, the CEO of Ginkgo Bioworks owned more than 108.2 million shares of the company worth over $337 million. One year ago. On last look, he owned more than 88.1 million shares, a stake of more than 4%. The stake was reduced by about 20 million shares. So he had 108 and dwindled it all the way down to 88.1 million. And his value has decreased around 67.8% to near 108 million when it was 337 as the share price dropped. Ouch. Now, Jason Kelly might have sold shares for many reasons. True. For us, we could care less the reason. We just want to know the impact of the price of the stock. The stock is down over 87% since a short seller report in late 2021. Earning results fell short of expectations in the past few quarters. Only two of eight analysts recommend buying the shares. However, they have a consensus price target of $3.08, which indicates they see the stock doubling in the next 12 months. Now, here's the price action for DNA, Ginkgo Bioworks. And we predicted that we were going to look for the market to go up in Ginkgo. And it did only for this short period of time. Right? It didn't hit $2.20. It got rejected towards this sell zone that we got on our chart. And it's been trading subpar, hugging around our buy zone here at the very bottom. Do you think DNA is still a buy? Because they did earnings. And it wasn't good. And currently in pre-market is trading at $1.30 again. So what's going on with this particular stock? Well, it has to hold and continue continue to hold this buy zone here at the bottom of our chart. Okay. Let's look at this on the monthly chart. So it wasn't a, a dreadful month for DNA. It wasn't terribly bad. We actually saw the market close higher than the prior month. That is good. But now it's going to open for the month of March, still at our buy zone. So this market is not ready to go up. The monthly chart is telling us that this market is not ready to go higher yet. Here it is on the three weeks. Here it is on the two. And here it is on the weekly. Okay, so I would suspect since earnings was released, once today ends, this weekly bar is not going to look the way it looks now. We're going to see the market close down towards the low, which will indicate more weakness. Now, you don't want to see that at an area to where you're supposed to see strength. We're supposed to see the market trying to hold this buy zone. And the following week is going to give us even more clues to whether or not these buyers are still down here buying. OK, so let me see what's going on with Ginkgo or DNA on 330 minutes. You guys can see right there in the weakness. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to straighten up this chart a little bit. Get rid of this price prediction here. Well, we're just going to hold it. So let me just extend it over a little bit further. And I may come back later on to do another price prediction, especially if the market doesn't hold this buy zone. If the market doesn't hold this buy zone, then we could see it make continue all time lows. Okay. And continue to trade below a dollar, which won't be good for trading because they may get delisted if they're that they cannot maintain price above a dollar. So just something for you all to keep on your radar. Okay. Now I would say, let me go ahead and do this rather than us looking for the market to hit this sales on up here. Let's bring it down to this area. And then this will be another sales zone here. So I would say market in DNA tries to come up here and it gets rejected. Then yeah, we have to cut this price prediction out because it's not working. Okay. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm done. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.